Jordan Brown, and we are here in Gainesville, Florida. We've been here, this is our first year here. Before this, we farmed in Bell, Florida. The name of our farm is The Family Garden, and a, a, a good part of what we do is a, is a, a CSA, you know, Community Supported Agriculture Program, which is probably 30 to 40 percent of what we do, and the rest is some farmer's market and wholesale. The farm is certified organic, and it's also, we have another certification uh, certified as a fair farm by the Agricultural Justice Project. Because we have a CSA, we have to grow a wide variety of things. So in order to satisfy the requirements of having a diverse selection every week for the people we grow, everything that we'll grow that is popular for people to eat during the season. So for us, you know, our biggest season is the, the cool season crops. A lot of lettuce and beets and greens and other things and then we move into the summer, move into the spring, which is pretty short. And we go into growing uh, watermelons and every, all, just the whole gamut of fruits and vegetables that we can grow. In the spring, uh, generally everything is planted. About half the farm or more than half the farm is double cropped in the year because it's a, we can farm just about all year here. We plant these drive rows that go up through the middle, so depending on how the fields get laid out each season, depending on the crop rotation, the drive rows are planted with either oats or rye, and that you know helps. Instead of just having dirt and weeds, uh, we're going to have a cover crop going on because these same beds next year might be vegetable beds or they might be a drive row again. But either way, we're going to plant them with a cover crop. During the winter time, you know, which fall through spring for us, I guess, would be oats and and rye are the two biggest ones that we use. In the summertime, if I can plant it out right, uh, we'll grow sun hemp, I've done that one before, or the Sudanax, which is, you know, a tall grass. Um, sometimes if we need something that's cheap though, we can go up to the store and get a bag of bird seed, which has got all kinds of stuff in it. Any time that you're able to, to bring in carbon from the atmosphere, you know, bring it into your ground, it's going to be better because you're just generally building up the organic matter that's in your soil. The only problem is here in Florida, building organic matter is pretty difficult, especially in a vegetable system that uses tillage. You know, I don't know how it's going to play out here. I've been doing, this is pretty much the way I've been farming for seven years, you know, with most of it on plastic and somewhat, you know, less tillage than just being straight on bare ground. but. You know, building organic matter when it's super hot and super humid is, is difficult. The, the cover crops, the, really the main thing that helps is with breaking up uh, the pest and disease cycle and trying to, you know, just, just adding in something into the crop rotation that's going to be more beneficial to the soil than just kale or peppers or something. There's, there's a lot of benefits just from cover crops. If you're in it for the long run, I don't know how you do it without it.